The Big Boodle is a noir crime drama starring Errol Flynn and co-starring Pedro Armendariz, Rosanna Rory and Gia Scala. The film is set in Cuba and was released on the 25th of January 1957. The plot. So what's it all about, mate? So what's the Big Boodle about? Well, an older, weary-looking Errol Flynn plays Ned Sherwood. Get it? Sherwood? A blackjack dealer in a Havana casino. After being passed counterfeit bills by a beautiful, mysterious young woman, Ned finds himself in no end of trouble down Cuba way. After confronting the woman outside, Ned gets beaten up, stabbed and shot all at the same time. He really is having a bad 24 hours. With the local police chief, Armendariz, giving Ned a grilling and turning up the heat, and local criminals also threatening him for the woman's name, Ned is soon up to his neck in more lies, beautiful women and murder than he can deal with. Sorry, that pun was intentional, by the way. After losing his job at the casino and not being able to leave Cuba, Errol really does have some rotten luck in this film. He also has somebody trying very hard to kill him. With his life hanging in the balance and finding himself falling in love with the main suspect, Ned's going to have to deal himself some pretty fancy aces if he's to stay alive long enough to clear his name. So what did you think, mate? So what did I think of Big, The Big Boodle? It was an extremely dull and uninvolving crime drama, I thought. A rather tired or is that bored looking Flynn conveys himself from one state encounter to the next. With very little action or anything much happening for the first hour, we are left with Flynn looking on impassively as he listens to rather tiresome characters spouting pretty flat dialogue. The story is very forgettable and none of the characters are particularly likeable or even interesting. And sad to say, Errol Flynn seems a shadow of the many suave, swashbuckling heroes of his glory days. He seems very distant, even uninvolved with proceedings. To be fair, this is meant to be noir, so his moody, cynical turn is not totally out of place. An undramatic script doesn't give him anything to work with here either. We also have a love story that is devoid of any real chemistry and therefore completely unconvincing. In its favour, the film does sport some nice location work and clean, crisp black and white photography. The film's unfamiliar setting and landmarks being its chief selling point. Things do finally burst into life with an action lead in the last 30 minutes or so, with a well-shot finale at Cuba's equivalent to Manhattan's Al Alcatraz Island, and ending complete with hide-and-seek shooter behind two giant castle cannons. And if that wasn't enough, we even get a James Bond-esque shark pool denouement. So overall, a very dull, at times fall asleep dull story, with just the curiosity factor of watching Flynn, a movie icon of the golden age, doing a straight noir drama to keep you watching. I did enjoy the locations though, and the ending was pretty neat. So I rate The Big Boodle a below average 5.8 out of 10 stars. Sorry Errol, but it needed one of your classic sword fights with Basil Rathbone to liven things up a little. Thanks for watching, and goodbye for now.